Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to add a kiss cam effect to an image or video file in DaVinci Resolve 17. Inside your edits window, hold Ctrl and press I to insert a media file into your project. Use command instead of Ctrl if you are a Mac user. Ensure that the subjects that you want to have featured inside your kiss cam effect are positioned away from the edges of your image or video. Having the subjects too close to any of the frame edges will result in a cropped and spoilt heart shape later on in this tutorial. Inside your media pool master bin, find the thumbnail of the media file that you have inserted. Select this and drag this to your edits timeline. Using the selection mode tool, which you can also do by pressing A, click and drag the red playhead to the end of your media edit to check the duration. By default, this particular image will play on screen for five seconds. Click and drag from the end of the edit in order to resize if you wish. Right click on your media edit and go to select open infusion page. Inside your nodes panel, with the media in one node selected, hold shift and press space to open up the select tool window. Use the search box at the bottom to find the transform tool. Select this and go to click on add. Place all of your fusion nodes tightly together so that you are able to see all of these on your fusion interface. Select the transform one tool. Go to inspector and underneath controls, use center X and Y to reposition the couple in your media file. Increasing center X will shift the image or video file to the right. Reducing this value will shift it to the left. Increasing center Y will shift the image or video upwards. Decreasing this value will shift this downwards. Since my subjects are in the middle of the screen, I will keep center X and Y at 0.5 for now. These coordinates can be modified later once we have the heart shape inserted into our template. Deselect Transform 1 by clicking anywhere on the nodes grid. Hold Shift and press Space. And go to Insert an Ellipse tool. Connect this new node to Media in 1. You should now see your image or video file inside a circular shape on your preview window. Should you not see this preview at all, select one of the small circles underneath Media Out 1. This particular ellipse shape will form part of the heart shape. Select Ellipse 1, go to Inspector, and underneath Controls, change Width and Height to 0.1. We want this particular shape to form the top left section of the heart. In order to achieve this, we also need to change this circle's position. Change Center X to 0.45. With your Ellipse 1 node still selected, hold Control and press C to copy. Deselect Ellipse 1, hold Ctrl and press V to paste. Deselect the duplicate ellipse node, hold Shift and press Space, and go to add a merge tool. Disconnect the original ellipse node from Media in 1. Do this by left clicking once on the line between the two nodes on the section closest to Media in 1. Connect the original ellipse to either the green or yellow arrows of Merge 1. And connect the duplicate ellipse node to the remaining arrow. Do not connect this to the blue arrow. And connect Merge 1 to Media In 1. Select the duplicate ellipse node. Since the dimensions of these ellipse shapes are 0.1, this particular number will also be the difference between the center X values of both ellipse shapes. This is done to position both circles alongside one another with no gap in between to form the upper section of the heart shape. Therefore, for this duplicate ellipse node, we are going to increase center X to 0.55. Select merge one, hold shift and press space. Go to add a new merge node. Deselect Merge 2, hold Shift and press Space, and go to add a triangle tool. 
connect the triangle one node to the green arrow of merge two. The yellow arrows on the merge nodes enable us to apply effects to the background of our media file, whereas the nodes that we connect to the green arrows affect the foreground. Select triangle one, go to inspector, and underneath controls, we need to flip the triangle shape around so that the top section is pointing downwards instead, and that this shape covers the bottom section of what will become our heart shape. When setting the point values for your triangle, ensure that point 1y and point 2y are both the same. This will create a straight line almost halfway down your heart shape and at the point of the ellipse shapes before they start curving inwards. For my example here, and again this may vary depending on the image or shapes that you've chosen for your own project, I'm going to set point 1x to 0 0.411, point 1y to 0 0.4615, Point 0.2x to 0 0.589, point 0.2y to 0 0.4615, point 0.3x to 0 0.5, and point 0.3y to 0 0.333. Deselect the triangle node so that you can see the heart shape without the green and red frame around your triangular shape, like so. Returning to your node section, go to make a copy of your original ellipse 1 node again, and paste this onto your node's canvas. Select Merge 2, hold Shift and press Space, and go to add a new Merge node. Connect the third ellipse node to the green arrow. Select the third ellipse node. Go to Inspector. This particular ellipse shape will be used to remove the gap which appears between the two original ellipse shapes. And underneath Controls, Change center X to 0 0.5 to centralize the new circle. Change center Y to 0 0.45 to remove the gap that was appearing towards the center of the heart. Select merge three, hold shift and press space, and go to add a new transform node. If I go to set the preview window to fit so that I can see the whole canvas of my video or image file, we can use this second transform node to change the position of the heart shape by going to inspector and adjusting the center X and Y values underneath transform. This will determine what part of the image or video file will be shown. The size of the heart can also be adjusted by using the relevant variable underneath transform. In this particular example here, I will increase the size to 3.5 so that we can see more of the subjects in my chosen image file. I will also shift the heart upwards by increasing the value of center Y to 0 0.7. Now to add a blurred pink surrounding to your heart shape. Select transform 1, hold shift and press space, and go to add a fourth merge node. Select all nodes apart from merge 4 and media out 1. Hold control and press C to copy. Deselect the highlighted nodes. Hold Ctrl and press V to paste in the section where your mouse cursor is. Deselect your newly pasted nodes. Select the duplicate media in one. Press backspace or delete to remove. Ensure that your nodes are deselected. Hold Shift and press space. And go to add a background node. This will enable us to add the pink color to the frame of the heart shape. Ensure that this new background one node is selected. Go to Inspector and underneath Color, double click on the box next to Color underneath Background. Type in the following hexadecimal code into HTML. Hashtag E63472. Click OK. Connect the duplicate Transform2 node to Background. With the Background1 node selected, hold Shift and press Space again and go to add a Gaussian Blur tool which will add a fade effect. Connect Gaussian Blur 1 to Transform 1 via the yellow arrow by Transform. Returning to your original set of nodes, disconnect Transform 1 from Merge 4. Reconnect Transform 1 to Merge 4 via the green foreground arrow. This will ensure that the image or video file will appear in front of the pink heart shape. 
Now go to connect the duplicate transform one node to merge four via merge four's yellow background arrow. Should you wish to adjust the size of the pink blur, go to the duplicate transform one node and underneath inspector and transform, adjust the size. I will increase the size of the pink heart shape to 1.07 so that the color stands out more around the image frame. Now to create the particle effects that will appear in the black surrounding. Return to your edit window. Drag your original video or image edit up by two tracks. Go to effects library and underneath toolbox and effects, go to find fusion composition. Click and drag one of these filters two video tracks down from your original image or video. Ensure that both of these edits are parallel and of the same duration. Right click on this new fusion composition clip and go to open in fusion page. Inside your nodes panel, hold shift and press space and go to add a normal ellipse tool. Click on the second small circle underneath this new node so that we are able to see an example of the particles that we are creating. Underneath inspector and controls, change soft edge to 0.14 to create a blur effect and change width and height to 0.14. Hold shift and press space again. Go to add a background tool. With the background one node selected, under inspector and background, double click on the color box. We will first create the small light red particles. Type in hashtag B11C3F as your code. Click OK. Connect ellipse one to this background one node. Hold shift and press space and go to add P emitter. With P emitter selected, go to inspector and under style, change style from point to bitmap. Connect background one to P emitter one. And under fade controls, change fade in to 0.2 so that the particles fade into the canvas rather than appearing in a jump cut. And to ensure that the particles fade out also, I will change out to 0.8. Return to controls. Under emitter, change number from 10 to 1.5 to reduce the number of particles that will appear on screen. Go to region. Change region from sphere to all. This will make the particles appear across the whole canvas. Ensure that P emitter 1 is still selected. Hold shift and press space. And go to add P turbulence which will enable the particles to float gently around the screen. And in order to ensure that these particles are processed in your final video, ensure P turbulence is still selected. Hold shift and press space. And go to add P render. Connect this final particle node to media out one. If you are not able to connect P render to media out one, simply remove the original media out one node by selecting this and pressing delete or backspace. With P render one selected, hold shift and press space and go to add a new media out node. Now to add the larger orange brown particles to your video. Return to your edit window. Ensure that the fusion composition clip on video track one with the red particles is selected. Hold control and press C to copy. Click and drag the fusion composition edit to the same position on the timeline, but on video track two. With the red playhead in place at the zero second mark, hold control and press V to paste. Right click on this newly pasted fusion composition edit and go to open in fusion page. Go to select ellipse one under nodes, change soft edge to 0.2. And to make these orange particles bigger than the red ones, change width and height to 0.2 also. Go to select background, under inspector and color, double click on the box next to color underneath background, type in the following code into HTML, Hashtag FF9151. Click OK. 
go to P emitter 1, return to inspector, under controls, to ensure that the number of bigger particles is less than the smaller red ones, reduce number from 1.5 to 0 0.3, go to style, go to size controls, and to make it appear that the particles are floating to and away from the viewer, change size variance to 0 0.15. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.